Okay, so uh, what I want to do today is I just want to give you a quick uh, uh, demo on the routing applications, all right? So this is something that's new to the ProPanel uh, professional uh, version of Iniplan. So what we have here is we have a panel uh, that I've uh, placed, uh, drawn, placed my all my components based on the schematic um, elements that are inside my project. Um, here I have all the uh, items that I can place on my panel. Um, same thing that you had in a 2D panel layout. This is a 3D panel layout navigator. Um, I have a little uh, quick filter that I have here that I permits me to see all my mounting locations for my piece. So when you're working with uh, your navigators, one recommendation is to really benefit or use a lot of these filters. So I'm going to turn that active and this filter is basically to show me everything that is my mounting location equals to P uh, show me that so it's going to show me that so here I have some drives that I want to place so I'm just going to you know, bring that over here I just want to sh select my mounting panel directly so I'm going to go here go to graphic I'm going to give like take the front view and I got a little section down here that I can drop my drives in and I'm going to drop these two drives that I have here, so I'm just going to grab that, right click place, it's going to stick to my mouse. Now one thing that you can do is if you want to place them and maybe uh, you because of heat dissipation there's a certain distance between these two elements that you don't want it to like, you know, touch or whatnot. Uh, one thing that you can do is you can right click here and you can do uh, placement options. So under placement options I can say multiple placements, so I'm, I only have two, but if you had multiple like a uh, five six seven ten you can always uh, specify like a particular distance between those two or those five or whatever so I'm gonna say one inch uh, distance between those two I'm gonna hit OK so I'm gonna grab my first one I'm just put it on my rail click and then he's gonna place me the two of them so now I have the two items placed with a one inch separation between those two uh, one thing that I can do now I'm just gonna close this up here put that back out one thing that I can do now is um, I can start using my routing function. So I can select this guy right here and select this guy right here and then just say here route. I could also select uh, additional items and even the whole backplate. I'm just going to do those two for now. I'm going to hit route. So he's going to route me these guys. Um, he's going to give me the routing options. So he's going to show me these. Uh, here I can look at all my routing. I can click on a wire. Uh, click on a wire. So he's going to show me how this guy has been routed. And click on the center wire, and you can show me how the other one has been routed as well. Okay, so this guy's going through and connecting to that item right there. Uh, this information that you have here is information that you'll find in this uh, connections navigator. In the connections navigator, I have a filter just to show me all the 3D uh, items, all the 3D connections, and whatever connection I want to get some information on, like I have the f uh, source, target, the color the wire number and I have also what duck and it's going through and I get like you know the routing directions which way the wires are going are they going up down left right and if you need you can also right click here go to graphic and it's going to show you you know where that wire is all right um, based on that um, another thing that's kind of neat too is that you have the option of right click and say go to graphic source so I'm only going to show you the source item and if you right click and then say graphic target it's going to show you only the target item all right so uh, based on that now once I have that done one thing that you might want to want to do is have these items um, reroute so basically when I do my routing functions he routes it this way so maybe this is not the way that I wanted to route I actually want all these wires to go uh, through this duck or through this duck maybe so one thing that you have here on the project data connections you have here change route so I'm gonna pick it's gonna give you all these like routing points So I'm gonna grab this route so everything that's inside this duck going through this section right here I'm gonna click and I'm gonna bring it over here to the uh, left hand side I want it to route everything by the left hand side I'm gonna click that and from here I'm gonna say uh, these are all the wires that are going through that duck right now so uh, everything that's connected to my drive that looks pretty much like everything make it go through the other side so I'm gonna hit OK so now you'll notice that all my uh, all the wires that I have connected to that uh, routing is going to go uh, through this other side. So he changed the routing and he made this guy go this way as opposed to going uh, 
through this wire duct which he was going before and one thing that you'll notice is that he's giving you this little red dot now this red dot basically is telling you that this wire this it's it's a warning that this wire duct is pretty much almost filled to capacity and what you have here <coughs> under the wrench you have the routing connection these are uh, options for the project and you have a routing tab and you can specify the fill capacity to give you a warning at 70% or to give you a fill capacity limit of 80%. So you can always play around with these and say, I want my wire ducts to be, uh, you know, I still have some more space or I want less space, uh, I want a little bit more breathing space and stuff like that. You can set all that up. All right. So that's pretty much in a nutshell how that works out. Um, hopefully, you know, it give you a better understanding of some of the routing uh, functionalities that we have uh, with ePlan. All right.